in some respects, I think I have a slightly different perspective to um, many of the people from the floor, because while I share all the concerns for social justice, and I think it's very, very important for us to think about how, you know, what the limits are and how the media reports things, I think we also have to be simultaneously realistic and utopian, in other words, to be, to, to be, to be strategic and tactical. I mean, the fact of the matter is that our media is a commercial enterprise. Whether, you know, I, I'm sure Monty's telling the truth that no one's pandering to the advertisers, but at the end of the day, you're selling your readers to the advertisers as a market to advertise to. And therefore, the mainstream media is mainstream. And all of that kind of unconscious ideological bias um, is inevitably going to be there. It's very useful for us to have discussions about it, to see how we can improve it. It's useful to, for you to be challenged. It's useful for us to be challenged, all of us. But there's a structural limitation to what can be achieved within that space. So we really need to keep the ideas alive of a more democratic media, of you know, proper public broadcasting, of subsidies for community media, and so on. You know, it's, it's, no, it's not going to work if we just place demands on the mainstream media that the mainstream media structurally can't achieve. And at the same time, I think there's a lack of awareness amongst, not necessarily speaking about anyone in this room, amongst most civil society of the fundamentally kind of elitist way in which our thinking about social change is structured. We, civil society, just as much as the media, <coughs> tends to think the problems are technical. And I think it's really important to do the right maths. But that's a secondary function. The first thing is to have the right politics. You know, the, it's, it's not just having the right morality. You know, that maybe comes first. The second step is to have the right politics. Once power relations change in society, then we can bring in the technical people and say, how can we work this out? And we all know that once the political will is there, things can be resolved. You know, a stadium can be built very quickly if the political will is there. What we lack in the society to achieve the kind of radical transformation of the media, of, of everything, is a, is a really countervailing political force. And I think what the point that Jane made is, is really, really important because the media, as well as most civil society, which is mostly well-educated, middle-class people like us with donor funding, sort of think if we get the right, the right ideas out there, things will change. There has to be a fundamental shift in power relations and that's what the media and civil society don't take seriously, I think. And it's, there's a culpability on both sides of this table because the degree of repression that has been faced either directly through state violence or indirectly, often through the manipulation of some of the things that Haroon was talking about, grants, access to housing, that might show up as a decrease in inequality or a decrease in poverty, rather. But they are often used by the party um, in ways to fundamentally uh, make it impossible for people to retain some kind of political autonomy. It's a politics of clientelism and patronage on the ground, very often, often backed up with violence. You know, there's been instances in Durban going back a few years where grassroots activists have been physically prevented by the police from going to speak on the radio and TV, in some cases assaulted. That also happened on Dr. Pahad's watch, but we don't seem to speak about that. And I think it's much better that if we all collectively try and think about how we can think about that so that we can change, move from our moral commitments to change the political reality so we can actually change the structures. So we're not just shouting at the media saying, you know, why don't you publish us? Because there's hundreds of people from different perspectives doing that. But we really need to democratize the society. And I think we need to think about those bigger questions.